howdy, hey everybody, oh, oh, that was painful, welcome back to another episode of our, well, Disney World Mega Build, um, I didn't really want to be down here, uh, today we are going to update the castle, so when we first, uh, built this castle, which was for Extra Life Game Day, can I jump, yep, nailed it, um, in, uh, last year, Hold on, uh, get up on it, get it, get up on it, get on a, get on the wall, get on it, I'm gonna fall down, everything's fine, it's, it's great. This is totally part of my plan, there we go. Okay, uh, when we first, <laughs> this is a fantastic opening, I should re-record this, but I won't. Um, we built the castle based off of some screenshots of the new paint job, hmm, hole, um, when they uh, painted this pink, it used to be white, and uh, when they were redoing this, and it looked like there was a gradient that came down and the bricks got darker down below. Well, now that I've been there since the repainting, uh, that's not actually true. So I have a bunch of things that I want to, re basically I want to replace all of that with stone brick. And I also added some andesite and some polished andesite and some just regular stone blocks to just create a little texture and variation on the uh, build here. So that is what we are currently going to do. And uh, we're, this is gonna be a very time-lapse heavy episode. I also wanna get rid of all the lights on here because these are actually enough. I wanna replace all of these with um, the frog lights there. And I don't know what I'm doing for lights inside here yet. I think nothing. I think there's a lot of lichen that's going on here. Um, and I'm not sure what else happens or not. Uh, Lily's rubbing her face on my microphone and the sun's going down and we are gonna get started. So I start with replacing the lanterns with frog lights to make the street lights look a little nicer. And then I'm gonna take out all the sea lanterns on the ground because in 1.19, we don't need them anymore. I do, of course, miss one, but don't worry, I totally forget to go back for it. It was at this point, I completely ran out of scaffolding. I don't think I've actually showed our main storage room for the whole server, but this is all automated. It all feeds down into shelter boxes. Uh, and then we put the shelter boxes in here if we have enough. Um, that's all overflow, so that one actually should be in here already, but whatever. Um, yeah, this is our storage room. We've got uh, a couple of small farms. We've got a big smeltery over here. It's actually supposed to be seen from the outside. Um, yeah, and this is our spawn area with some new trees. That's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the smeltery here. You, you reach down into the chest and you throw the things in, in, the, in the lava. Don't throw them in the lava. That's bad. Okay, so now we're actually doing the replacement for the textures on the castle. So we go through and we get rid of all of the deep slate first. This is the most annoying part, honestly. Um, one, because I really didn't want to lose a lot of the deep slate, so I had to keep going back to storage and dropping everything off, and then I ran out of materials, and then I, oh, it was, it was a pain. But now we're starting to build back up here, and uh, we're doing pretty good. This is, uh, that part was really annoying because the stairs don't always have something behind them, so that next layer, I couldn't build things up. Those stairs exist, by the way, because in, the actual castle, it sort of tapers at the bottom, and there's no great way to do that in Minecraft, but I did the best I could to try to make it look like as the the towers reach further down into the ground, they're expanding. And you can see here, we're starting to put in some of the texture and all of the things. We And uh, now we're coming around and doing the next layer up. Uh, again, kept running out of materials, kept having to run back, uh, ran out of scaffolding, all sorts of fun things are going on here. All right, so some fun facts about Cinderella Castle while we're doing this. Um, there is actually a full suite inside of it. Uh, technically, you could stay a night there, uh, but there's no way to purchase it. You have to be gifted it by, by uh, Disney. It was originally going to be for Walt, uh, although he was never here. Why is there a wandering trader everywhere? Always. Oh, they're so annoying. Anyway. Um, it was originally supposed to be for Walt, but uh, it was used as storage until 2006 during the year of Million Dreams when they gave it away to people just randomly. And if you were lucky enough, you could stay one night 
absolutely amazing. I wish I could do it. Um, it also employs something that Disney uses a lot called forced perspective. And uh, that is a way of making things look taller than they are. It's 189 feet tall, because if it's 190 feet tall, it would have to have a blinking red light on top of it for uh, FAA safety reasons for airplanes. Um, so as it gets higher and higher, the windows get smaller, the roofs get smaller, and uh, everything just looks bigger because it gets smaller as it gets further away from where you're standing on the ground. Uh, this was, uh, I couldn't decide if this was easier to do it this way by going back and retexturing after the fact, or if it was easier to go and just do it in the first place. Um, but it's, this wasn't too, too bad. I, uh, I've definitely had more painful projects. I got smarter here where I did that second row before I did the last row. And then at the very end, once I finish this section here, sorry about the rain again, um, I do one last pass in free cam, and I just sort of float around looking for little blocks that I might have missed here or there. Not that that really matters, because no one could tell the difference, uh, except for me. And, uh, then we get through and we are done. So, let's get back to our regularly scheduled episode, shall we? Okay, I can practically hear you already. Dan, you did an entire time lapse and we didn't even get to watch all of the scaffolding fall. Don't worry, we're gonna get to see all the scaffolding fall. Nailed it. No, I'm just kidding, here we go. Oh, I did miss a block though. Uh, I don't have any on me anymore. Okay, actually go. Not gonna lie, this was super satisfying. <laughs> Just watching it all fall down. Then we get a better look at what it actually looks like with all the new textures and everything. Alright, so then I just have a bunch of things that I need to update. I gotta swap out all of these for andesite, just to get a little texture in here. The walls are really funny. They, uh, they all update really weird. And uh, so red means it's the wrong block altogether. So this red block means it's supposed to be something else. You can see in the top right here, it says uh, should be an andesite wall. And instead, it's the client says it's a stone brick wall. So we're going to grab that. We can do that. Super, super easy to adjust. But when a block state is wrong, so like these walls are now got the little jut out instead of just being flat, that's wrong. So they all turn yellow. So working with walls is, uh, is a little funny. But we managed to make it work. And then here, we're actually coming up onto the grass, which in my case will end up being moss. So those can actually get full blocks. This one can be, no, nope, that's just that. Uh, this one down here would be a full block. Eventually, as we start working our way up, but I'm not gonna go crazy with that right now because I gotta build all of this stuff that I'm now walking through. So we're just gonna fix these couple of things here. I literally have lily pants laying on my hand just trying to take up time and I will let her because uh, don't tell her but I'm leaving for Disney literally tomorrow so she gets as much time as she wants supposed to be sandstone is a smooth sandstone okay I think I changed that out later in the design uh, 
cool. Some things over here are incorrect according to the creative world because I changed my mind after I started building it here in the survival world. And uh, the this world is always correct, even if the schematic tells me it's wrong. Sometimes I go back and adjust the creative world so I don't get the, the angry red, but a lot of the time I just leave it. So there we go. So we've got all this down here. We've got to do all this wall over here, which I'm going to do off camera. And then uh, we'll come back and show you the final result. Be right back. Okay, so I think, I'm in spectator mode right now. I think that we are pretty good with textures on the castle, on the walls. It sort of dies out there, but that's okay. There's a secret tunnel underneath. Um, I think we're pretty good so far, as far as all that goes. I think it looks fantastic. This, uh, I haven't talked about this yet. This area up here, this large section of windows, that's Cinderella's royal table. And I think I am missing a block. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, let's go back into survival Ooh. mode. I know I kind of cheated here because uh, F8. Um, I'm not, I didn't actually travel the right way. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> boop. All right. Uh, back into spectator. Don't hate me for that. Um, but yeah, I think we're doing pretty good on how everything looks. Um, I like the texture a lot better. Uh, I actually went back, I didn't talk about this on stream, but I put some of these stairs in here because uh, I hadn't done any of the stairs when I did the retexturing, so some of those are now different. Uh, I don't think I like that one back there. Whatever. Uh, this wall's looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're uh, making progress. I did all of this wall here. I got to do these two uh, and all of that still, and that's on my list of things to do. I will grab that. Uh, but I am running out of time if I want to get this episode out before I leave. Those time lapses took five ever. Uh, so what I want to do, there's another water trader. Goodness gracious. Uh, what I want to do is I actually want to show y'all a little bit of um, what we have in the back. I also want to come through and put some of these lamps in as well. I have missing lamp. Stop it. I'm missing lamps around the back and stuff. But let's go to the nether because there's something that I haven't shown you yet that I'm actually pretty happy with um, cool. that I've put a lot, a lot of time in. So in the Utilidors, we have a scaffolding that goes up here over into the roof of the nether. Now, this is something that a lot of people do. I know I have a rail that goes back to King's Cross Station, which is also on the roof of the nether. Um, so I can get back and forth. But I also have these giant, giant maps. And they are 17 blocks wide by 16 blocks tall, which is why I moved them into the nether, because I was starting to get a little bit of lag. This is the entire area of the Magic Kingdom. And I still don't have my spyglass. Uh, you can see up here, there are some corners that are cut out. That's the size of the image that I have in Affinity Designer. Now, this is the before. All of these are locked, hopefully. Uh, and then over here, I've got what we've got done so far. And it's really, really exciting. Let me grab some scaffolding down here. Hold on. Uh, I keep scaffolding down here so I can grab these and make copies or whatever as I'm working in different areas. But let's go. Actually, why am I doing this? Hold on. It's silly. Why am I, why am I doing that? I just remembered. That's why I have this wall. So this is sort of my um, my wall of progress here. And I'll, I'll have some more on that side eventually. But the uh, I mean, initial landscaping, I started just digging some of this out. And then I realized I hadn't done that map yet. So I had to put grass on top of it. So if you look real close right there, there's a little flat right there. And there's no trees. Um, over here, I have the uh, pre-game day castle clearing. And I went too far up there. Um this is November 5th, 2021, and this is November 6th, 2021, uh, through the 17th when I actually finished all of this. This is the first thing that we had built. And as you can see, there's not a lot done more than this, but you can see here all of this stuff was still all roughed out. And then uh, here's April 8th, 2020, where I started working on the moat. 
and clearing all that out. And that was when I still thought this went all the way through and it doesn't anymore. Uh, and this is current. This is fully updating as we go. I have maps on all these locations here just sitting in the world. So I can just pick them up, hold them in my hand, walk around a little bit if I have to, and, uh, and update them. And it's really, really been a ton of fun. This, this took up a lot of time, um, but it was time that I needed to sort of plan things. And I was worried I was going to get burnt out. And But being able to see this progress is so cool. It looks like a chunk error in the middle. It's really funny. Um, especially this one. When it was just this. Uh, and then even when it was just this. It just looked like such a chunk error. It was weird. I got the hiccups. Um... But this is our, this is our map, and uh, we're making progress on it, and we're having a lot of fun doing it, and I, I, I love this part of it. It really makes me happy, just going around and doing that. Um, but I think that we are out of time. <laughs> this is going to be another short episode. I don't think anybody's going to mind, so um, there'll be a little bit of space between when this one comes out and when the next one comes out. I think I'm going to release this one on the Saturday. Hey, look, I can do this. I'm going to release this one on the Saturday, but um, while I'm gone, and uh, and I don't know, I don't want anything recorded for the next one, so make sure you tune in to Twitch and things like that, and keep an eye out on when we're going to be doing things next, and it's going to be fun, but thank you all for being here. I love all of you, uh, and I appreciate everything that you do. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, um, and when this comes out, it's going to be Wild West Wife's birthday, so... Say happy birthday in the comments to my wife. And, um, yeah, we'll be in Disney enjoying Disney things. So, yay. <laughs> Love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wild West Disney.